If you're just tuning in for the second date, we're on the phone with Joey. And look, <laughs> we've heard some weird first kisses before doing this segment, but this one might be the strangest. Aww. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Aww. you have to picture a cell phone flashlight, uh-huh. a little light romantic music playing in the background. That is, nice. is there music? While you're surrounded by old <laughs> Chinese food. <laughs> Inside a dirty dumpster. Yeah. It's like my apartment. Do you smell that? Mm. That smells like love. That was definitely not Chinese food. Yeah, that chow mein is bad. Love mixed with (laughs) Szechuan sauce. (laughs) She was leaning over the dumpster. He was inside of it, covered in crap. Mm -hmm. And they Frenched. Dude, oh, they Frenched oh, in the moonlight. I'm it making it better. I feel like it's a perfect analogy for this year. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm assuming. Joey, that you Frenched her, or did you Chinese her? I don't know what the protocol is in this situation. What? There's some French. There was some okay. French? All right. Okay. You guys are making fun, but I think you're going to... Joey, I'm with you. I think it sounds romantic, yeah. okay? If you don't, I do. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Joey told us he had his first kiss with a girl named Taylor inside a dumpster because he tossed his leftover Chinese food into there and forgot his credit card was in the to-go bag. He was so happy when he located it, he yeah. kissed her in the dumpster but now she's not calling him back and we don't know why or do we no we don't <laughs> we do they kissed again I think it's- this is going to be a weird question but do you think she may have met someone else while you were in the dumpster what <laughs> no <laughs> it's a good opportunity some guy walked by cleaning the street I, 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 <laughs> it's a weird question <laughs> I mean, you're picking you, up gum off the street. Get yeah. over here. You can only go up, only go up. But here we go. Let, let's call Taylor, and we'll find out the reason that she's been blowing you off lately. Okay, you ready to do this, man? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna dial the number. Hello. Hi. Is this Taylor? This is Taylor. Who's this? Hi, Taylor. My name's Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Do you have a second to talk? Excuse me, what's going on here? We're doing a morning radio show, and we're doing something called a second date. Have you ever heard of that before? No, I have not. Okay. Well, basically, the idea is if you go out on a date with someone and afterwards, if they're not calling you back, you can email our show, and we'll reach out to that person for you to try and figure out the reason why they're blowing you off. Okay. And so somebody emailed us about you recently. About me? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you right. up a little. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Isn't it? You know Joey? Yeah, I met Joey. Okay. Okay. Well, he <laughs> told us about the date that you guys had. He says he had a really good time with you. Did he tell you about the dumpster? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. oh my yes. God. That was the most memorable part of your date, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good or bad. <laughs> it was something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wasn't it kind of cute? He told us about how it wasn't his fault. He forgot his credit card was in the bag. He threw it away. You helped him find it. Brooke thought it was dumpster thriving more than dumpster diving. Yeah. <laughs> she thought it was great. What did you think? I thought it was fine. See? Oh, it didn't bother me. I stand corrected. And what huh? was that kiss like? Oh, I mean, you know, <laughs> when he like went for it or he was about to go for it, I just kept thinking it smelled pretty bad, but (laughs) it's fine. But you wanted to kiss him, so? You know, I didn't know if I wanted to kiss him, but it was okay. Hmm. Uh, Okay. It's not really a glowing review. But But it's it's not not a bad review. I mean, is that the reason you're not calling him back? No. No, not really. See? Okay. Because he told us that after the dumpster kiss, you had another kiss later. We did. So why are you blowing him off now? Are you just waiting for the stink to get off of his clothes? Because uh, it takes a while for that to come out. <laughs> it's a deep stench. No, you know, he did not text me for a really long time. Mm. And I just realized, like, he's not that into me. And I had plenty of other guys that were a little more eager. And I was swiping. And I ended up meeting three guys since. Wait, wait, what? wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Has it been like five days? Yeah, he said it's been five days since your date. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Wait. How, how long is too long for him to text back? I mean, he didn't text me back for 48 hours. 
That's two, two days. days. That's the sweet spot. Two days, if you're on Tinder, you uh, move on. I think two days is a little too long. See? I can see what she's saying. I just want to know how you fit three dates in the last five days. Like, that is <laughs> some... <laughs> no. That well, is she... some management of time. Well, Joey mentioned that she's hot, so she must be getting a lot of people wanting mm. to go out with her. Did you match, <laughs> or did you actually go out and date? I've met three since. Yeah, so you, so you have new. no, you have met three cents she, in person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See? Oh. Well, see, you can't just put invest it all into one guy, you yeah. know, who's not getting back to you. You gotta spread oh. yourself. I mean, I say good for you. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I do not I say that, that Alexa. How many times do we have to say that? Dude, I think that's fine too. However, <laughs> okay. you need to spread anything. Oh, I think it's okay. totally cool. You but know what I mean. Here's well, the thing. If you liked him, I mean, even though you're talking to these other dudes, like, why don't you contact him back at all though? Like he's just totally out because he took so long? Yeah, because I think when you take that long to respond to someone, it's clear that you're not that into them. And I don't want to date someone who's like, I'm their second or third pick, you know? Oh, I think that's a miscommunication. I'm just thinking like 48 hours, two days, that doesn't seem like very much time to give a guy. That's plenty of time. Just for a text. I I mean, just for a simple text. He may have texted me after 24 hours, but he definitely did not call me until 48 hours later. Oh, Okay, so he didn't call within one day now. (laughs) <laughs> it's a little much on my side. If he needs I, if to I'm... show a little effort. I could see it. She wants some effort to be seen, you know? Yeah, you know, I just have a lot of guys that are interested right now, and I don't have time to just hang out with some guy I kissed near a dumpster. God. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. Got options. Well, <laughs> yeah, Brooke kisses dumpster guys. That's husband. Yeah. Husband. <laughs> I know you have guys that are wanting to talk to you all the time, Taylor, but maybe you have a little bit of time to actually speak with Joey because I need to tell you he's been on the other line listening. And he wants to talk to you. Right now? Hi, Taylor. Yeah, right now. There he is. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Hi. Sorry I didn't call you sooner. I just I thought there was like a three-day dating rule where oh. you kind of let things marinate. And... Oh, he's old school. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe in like 2017, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! Give yeah, time. Hey, wait, now. wait, wait, though. I mean, you got to look at it this way, Taylor. Like he was so into you that he actually called us for help to get a hold of you. I mean, that's how into you Joey is. Mm-hmm. If he was really interested, he would have called you guys dinner. Oh, <laughs> so we should be mad at him too. Maybe the <laughs> night of, he should be calling for a second date. Like as soon as you get into the taxi and leave. Joey, yeah. tell her, tell her how much you like her. I thought we really hit it off. I was just trying to be polite and, like, not come off too eager and uh, don't want to overwhelm you or anything. I really I like you, though. don't think it would be overwhelming to call a girl before two days. Yeah, that's how it works now. <laughs> I don't know, though. Like, you go out on Monday, he texted you in that time period. Like, that, that's yeah. enough, in my opinion. It you sounds know, like just you, chill for a second. It sounds like you want a clingy guy. I don't want a thingy guy, but I don't want there to be question marks. The or longer thing. it takes to call, the more time you have to overthink yep, on it and yep. just cancel them out. Well, that's on you. That's not on the no, guy. it's not. It's on both parties. <laughs> I just said something. I find it kind of ridiculous that you have this rule and, like, I didn't know about it. I didn't know if you wanted me to call or text or what your time period was. I just was out of the loop on that. <laughs> so, are you questioning me right now about how I'm running my dating life? Because remember, I'm very good looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm in control. Okay, yeah, she's in charge. <laughs> is well, that good for you, Joey? Does that turn you on a little bit, or is that something that is? <laughs> I mean, I could play the needy guy. I just didn't know that's what I needed to do. <laughs> it's a role play now. Okay. <laughs> so Joey's still into it. Yeah. All right. I'm into it. Well, in that case, I would like to send the two of you out on one more date to the nicest dumpster in town. Yeah, we'll pay for it. <laughs> All right, I'm there. Sure. Wait, that was wow. a yes right away. But you didn't respond quick enough, Taylor. It took, <laughs> you, took you two seconds to respond, so I'm going to take that as you're not that into him. Stop giving me a hard time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, just so you know, I do have some more dates lined up for the coming week, so it wouldn't be till next week sometime, but I would definitely give you another chance. Oh, wait, you're, you're putting him at the end of the list? Well, yeah, I'm not going to break off a date with somebody else. <laughs> And he's on the list, Jeffrey. What do you want? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so much. Okay, Joe, are you cool with that? Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, I guess it is what it is. But, I mean, next date, I'll call you as soon as you're walking away. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good idea, Joe. That's funny, but don't, like, actually do that because that's 
kind of pathetic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine line, yeah. Taylor. Fine spot. <laughs> we got an email from one of our listeners named Joey, and Joey admits he went against our show advice mm. even before the date happened. Whoa. And he used a corny pickup line on a dating app. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Stop it. No. Joey. <laughs> on dating apps is where they're supposed to no. live. You know, sometimes the corny That's lines can come off a little bit funny, but yeah. we'll be the judge of that in just a second. First, Joey, tell us a little bit about the girl that you matched with. What's her name? Taylor. Okay. I uh, matched with her on Tinder. And okay. w- what struck you about Taylor? I mean, obviously she's hot, but yeah. anything else? <laughs> Well, she didn't have much of a bio, so that was really oh, okay. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was just she's hot. Yeah. Okay. Do you really need any more than that, Brooke? <laughs> I Come don't on. know. I feel like at some point, if you're scrolling so many times, there's got to be something else that stands out about there's somebody not. that makes you. That, that's you're not going. how dating apps work, no, Brooke. Okay. You don't get to know, know a person's personality Listen, just by their yeah. profile. I'm married. I know there's rumors that I'm on dating apps. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. Okay. I'm telling you, if a girl's like, I have a degree, and this, this, this we don't care about that crap. Okay. Tell well, me like yoga pants. Says and the single guy in the room. Right. Continue. Exactly. So exactly. you said you used a pickup line on her. Let's hear. What was it? So I said. I just saw the best up sexy ever. What? And, uh, I already get it. <laughs> and she replied, what's up sexy? And I said, not much. What's up with oh, you? Uh, <laughs> okay. How oh did God. she respond to that? <laughs> she laughed. She liked that. Yeah, okay. that's funny. I got to say, my husband is the king of the what's up jokes. He does snoo. He does sapping. <laughs> yeah. And I even married him. Uh, yes. So, I mean, There's it was something... really cute when we started dating. There's something to it. <laughs> So what did you guys do when you went out? So we went up to this Chinese restaurant. We learned about each other. She's kind of recently single. Okay. Just like a month. And oh, that's soon. Yeah, a little soon. But I guess she dated some jerk and it didn't really work out with her breakup. Uh, oh, that's the, the best, they, they though. They like the jerks and they stay with the jerks yeah. most of the time. That's but that's weird. the best for you, Joey, because it means that you're going to come off looking good probably no matter what. Unless you find a way to really, really screw this up. Yeah, the bar's already so low. Right. <laughs> but they gave us so much food, and we had a ton of leftovers, and huh. she wanted to go get dessert. So we're on our way to dessert. We passed this dumpster. I tossed in the leftovers, thinking I'm never going to eat all this what? stuff. Yeah. You threw away good leftovers? I did. I was like too full to yeah. the point of being uncomfortable, so I tossed it. <laughs> Wait, why, why are you even bringing that up? Was it a thing for her? Because it would have been a thing for me. Yeah, this is a part of the story. You just got to know that I threw this box into the dumpster. Uh-oh. Instead of giving them to her. Okay. Uh-huh. okay. All right. Interesting fine. Choice. She had her own food. So this is just my leftovers. Oh, okay. And- okay. So food goes in the dumpster. So we get to the dessert place and I'm about to pay with my card. And then I realize I don't have it. And it clicks. <gasps> I left the card in the to-go box. What? That I just threw out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get in the to go box. He put it in there, obviously. Yeah, mashed potatoes. I'm With just the food. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm hoping there was a bag. You were carrying it all in the bag. And yeah, you... the receipt was in there. My card was in there. Oh, I no. just kind of oh, forgot because, yeah. you know, I'm with Tinder Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'd you do? So I told her and we went back to the dumpster that I dropped it into. And yeah, it was pretty dark at this point. Okay. And okay. I couldn't see the box in the dumpster. <laughs> well, I'm, oh. I'm laughing because I feel like this is karma for throwing out good food, but okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I had to jump into the dumpster. <gasps> and Dumpster dive. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but she was helping. Like, she was all on board with me finding this to-go box in my card and she's shining her light in there and like encouraging me to find it and everything at least she's helpful yeah i know i probably i probably would have just called and canceled the card and ordered a new one no (laughs) brooke would have looked in the dumpster and been like "Ooh, somebody threw away some thai food too grab it (laughs) nothing goes to waste in here i just think it's kind of insane you're dumpster diving on your first date I mean, I didn't want someone to get my card and, like, go through all of the process of canceling and getting a new one, so... Yeah, waiting a week. Okay. All right. So did you find it? Yeah, I did find it. And it just felt like the right moment, and I could tell we were both feeling it, and we had our first kiss in the dumpster. No, you did not. Dude. Wait, you were both in the dumpster together, and that's where you shared your first kiss? 
Now, she was, like, standing on this crate outside, oh. but I was definitely in the dumpster. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wow. Your first kiss That's is a dumpster so kiss? Why is that so <laughs> cute? You, <laughs> you bro, come on. Cute. Oh, no, you don't. It's, it's yes. like Lady in the Tramp, okay? They were in an alley. There was garbage around. Like yeah, This is a dream come true for Idaho Brooklyn. I know. No, I know. This is Lady in the Tramp is. kissed by, like, sucking a spaghetti but together. Still, it was dirty. They were literally okay, animals. All I'm saying is I think <laughs> no. I think you turned lemons into lemonade. I think you, you took a bad situation and somehow made it romantic. She Dumpster kissed him back. Lemons. She liked it. Taylor liked it, right? Yeah, we were both into it. It was really nice. And, like, I walked her to her car, and I had to go, like, clean up. But yeah. before she left, we kissed some more, and, like, it was really nice. See? Oh, okay. Aww. Taylor liked the dumpster kiss. Or she hated it so much she had to have another kiss just to erase the bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it ended? You shared a kiss, and then you went your separate ways? Yeah, and I've been reaching out, and she has not responded for, it's been, like, five days now. Huh. Oh, wow. Well, I think it's obvious. I mean, you're... What do you think it it's is? It's the dumpster. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think it is? What a mystery. I, I mean, seriously, they kissed.